everybody. Happy Thursday to you. It's a rainy Thursday here, but that's okay because when it's rainy, it's a little bit cooler upstairs in the in the old Tower Bower studio. I am having fun today, my friends. Um, I've decided that I want to make some more zines. Now, I'm going to show you zines that I have created over the years. I kind of got addicted to this because I took Jenny Belly's Inspiration Station free class. Now, that is at journalworkshops.ning.com. So, do check out Jenny's free class, uh, and she will show you, she shows you exactly how to make these. But I thought that it would be kind of fun if um, I put together a little series to make zines using a flow binder. You know, flow binder is a great tool because it helps us organize things um, before they get to our desktop. To me, a flow binder is it's like organization in a snap. You, and it all goes back to um, you know, being able to sort. And that is one of those things that we learned as children. And it is very soothing and comforting and fun. All right, I knew that I wanted to make some zines. So what I did was I, um, I used a 12 by 12 sheet that looks like this. I got this from a Recollections paper pad and I really do love it. Um, and I just cut all of these images out and I stacked those images with more images that I had in my zine storage caddy and my zine storage caddy is really small. It's just a small, uh, a small plastic tub, but I thought it would be fun to go through and sort some elements in just one pocket. And that's what I'm going to do today, guys. I'm just going to use one pocket from my flow binder to sort some elements. And then from there, we will make some zines. This is the zine that I made yesterday. And I am kind of loving the colors on it. It just turned out really nicely. I'll show you how to put the zine, uh, how to construct it, how to paint it and how to put it all together. So I think we've got a um, six part series here on flow binder zines. Um, I've got about this bunch of stuff here. So we're just gonna go through and kind of separate. These are words and you know, when I'm doing something, this is a great way to separate things for a specific project. So, you know, your flow binder is full of all good things, right? But you can always, I think I'm going to use these chippy bits for backgrounds. You can always use uh, just a page from your flow binder to, um, I'm also going to show you guys how to make a card, uh, how to make tags for, and I think that would be a good tag, how to make tags for your flow journal. Um, but this is a great way to sort for small projects. So if you just got a small project going on and you need to do some sorting, this is a great way to do it. I, I don't know about you guys, but the it's like the decision-making process for me, when I have less to choose from, I do a whole lot better. I was thinking about, I need to start replacing my, um, Replacing some of my acrylic paints because they're just gooey. And I was thinking the other day, my acrylic paints, I probably have 15 bottles of acrylic paint. And that's like, that's it. <laughs> that's all that I have. But because I don't have a lot of paint, it, well, for one thing, it encourages me to mix colors. It encourages me to, um, you know, if, if I don't have a certain color, then... I'm learning to mix colors and make the color that I need. So that kind of helps your brain, right? Um, 
it's kind of like a brain exercise. Um, so it's just, you know, I, I don't know about you guys. I cannot be surrounded by a lot of stuff. It makes me kind of crazy. So everything, when, when I even come into my, um, my little space in the morning, there can't be anything on my desk. I clean everything off my desk before I, I go downstairs uh, at night. I, I just, I, but that's just me. Everybody's got a different way that they create, a different, a different way of feeling, you know? So sometimes people, sometimes people really need to be surrounded with a bunch of stuff and sometimes they don't. And I'm just one of those people that just don't, don't like a whole bunch of stuff around me. Um, as I'm um, creating. All right, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Uh, these are some background, you know, I had a few little background pieces, so we'll just use those. Um, you know, just chippy bits. I love this suitcase. I love that Recollections paper pad, y'all. It's super cool. Um, so I, I've got tiny chippy bits right here. And then I've got words right here. I've got images right here. Words. And this really does help me as I start to create these scenes. Words right here. Words right here. It's just a way to kind of cut down on, imagine having two typewriters. <laughs> I don't know what happy coincidence that was, but yay. It just helps me to be able to um, to not have a lot of stuff around. I realize that kind of flies in the face of of having stuff, but <laughs> that's just me. I'm a minimalist crafter. All right, guys, I've got everything in my pockets that I want to use to make my little zine. Um, stay tuned for part two, where I talk about. Um, how to create your zine, how to fold your paper and actually make a zine. Thanks, y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.